Let me ask you guys a crazy question. Is May supposed to be this cold? Is mother nature tripping? Like, what are we doing, fam? This is not normal. My nose is dripping boogers. My balls, I can't find them. They're somewhere tucked behind my belly button. I'm supposed to be wearing like something warm and delicious, but I can't be doing that. So now I gotta pull out another fragrance to try to assimilate with today's weathers. I don't like it. So generally around this time frame, I'm supposed to wear a fragrance that enhances the beauty of the sun, the glorious temperature, and now I have to pull out something that's a little chilly. But it happens to be a hybrid that seems very interesting. With the glorious sun behind me, please give me some warmth but the fragrance i'm pulling out today is a dua hybrid it's a combination of two fragrances that have ultra mass appeal and the hybrid that i'm rocking with today is drowning in blue de dua atar essentially blue de chanel mixed with annie by nishane let's see how good this shit is now drowning in blue having that blue de chanel and nishane's annie combination is not something that i've pictured but dua is notorious for making these weird combinations that somehow work a good majority of the time hopefully that'll be the case here and trying it outdoors in this sub 60 degree weather well in reality sub 50 degree weather is the perfect opportunity to not only see if i like it but if i get compliments from well the ducks all right so without further ado Let's give this joint a try right now on air and see if it's any good. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So essentially I'm getting the spark of Blue de Chanel opening. So I'm getting that beautiful citrus lavender kind of flow, slight tonka, gingery aspects, but Nishane is quickly creeping up behind. Ooh. Okay, so it's a little bit of a Play-Doh-ish vibe, which I do enjoy. It's got that Nishane Udi vibe, but it's got all the brightness and mass appeal of blue. To this is actually pretty freaking good. Hmm. Okay, I'm blind. Jesus. Do you think a duck's ass is watertight? There's actually a beautiful greenness that I'm getting out of this fragrance. Like I'm getting a lot of green vibes. I'm getting slight aquaticiness, but I'm getting a very distinct combination of Nishanae's Annie and Blue Chanel mixed properly together. And for some weird way, something that's mass appeal and fresh with something dark, sweet and rich like Annie is working off my skin right now. The shit's changing though. Is that a fucking lizard? But let's be honest, if it didn't say Blue de Chanel and Annie as a mix, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint them because it doesn't smell specifically like either of those because of the combination and how it's blended. But is it mass appeal? Very much so. Let me tell you, as a city boy, I'm not used to this whole nature shit. I've stepped in three different types of poop. I don't know what they are and they're multiple colors while I'm smelling a fragrance and trying not to smell like horse shit. It's amazing. Toss a coin into a well, true wishes cast a magic spell. Will your wish come true? Only time will tell. This is some Blair Witch shit. <laughs> so while this chilly air continues to briskly rub my nipples, I can tell you that this fragrance is starting to come off as a citric lemon forward. I'm also picking up a clean laundry detergent kind of a smell. So it isn't a super mass appeal like panty dropping fragrance. It's more so a citric clean creamy scent profile with a little bit of oody base to help give it some body. Now, honestly, there aren't many people in the park to give me any compliments other than Susan, who just recently got a hip replacement and has this new walking strut like a Bronx stripper that really turns me on. I mean, she's under 90, but I'll still smash. She got fake tits for sure. So what are my final thoughts on this Annie slash Blue de Chanel combination? I want something with a little bit more body. I don't think it blows my doors off. It's just super pleasant and very easy to wear, which is something that a lot of people do look for. But when I'm looking for these hybrid fragrances, I want something uber sexy, very different, a little bit dark, slightly richer and maybe less of the element of clean laundry with creamy citruses and more like a little bit more body and a little bit more ooze. I just want to feel like a sex magnet. Let me know your thoughts. Does the Nishane and Blue de Chanel combination sound like something that'll pique your interest or you want something a little richer and bolder like I do? Let me know in the comments below. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. You know who it is, biggest in the game, the one who stepped in the most key shit today. Smooches.